This one listing made me close to half a million dollars in sales. In this video, I'm gonna share with you guys what I do to create listings that generate hundreds of thousands of dollars in sales. Listing quality is absolutely critical. You can spend so much time researching, product researching, keyword researching, all the knickknacks and doing uh, SEO, but if your listing quality sucks, it is not going to make any sales. I also manufacture for other Etsy shops and I see behind the scenes of these Etsy shops succeeding and not succeeding. And let me tell you the number one factor that distinguishes the successful Etsy shop from a non-successful Etsy shop is oftentimes the listing quality. So in this video, we're gonna be going through some of the listings. I'll be reviewing the listings on Etsy right in front of you guys so that you guys can see what I'm looking at in order to determine whether one listing is a good listing or, or a listing is not good. So we're gonna jump on my computer. We're gonna look behind the scenes. And we're gonna look at what I'm seeing. I'm gonna be talking you guys through it. I wanna teach you guys what I know. So if you are new to this channel, my name is Vlad. I've been a top seller on Etsy for the past five years. I also consult and manufacture for top sellers as well. So make sure to subscribe, hit the bell notification to be notified when I release these videos. All right, so let's just jump on this one. I really like this uh, listing for several reasons. Oftentimes people, um, they talk about having a lot of photos. It's not just having a lot of photos, it's having the right kind of photos and videos, okay? So with their video, it shows a lot. Like if you have a video, it reduces how many photos you need because uh, your video shows so much. It shows how it holds, it shows how you can make it look. They're just jumping through scenes, you know? So, so it's essentially a slideshow, but a much better slideshow. So I off the bat love this video because it's quick. Um, a lot of times people make videos that are much slower, which is also okay because sometimes people wanna see the details depending on what your product is. But uh, I really like this video. It's really quick and it's really catchy. And you're like, okay, it has energy, it's fun. Uh, it's gonna be on the beach. People are gonna appreciate the, the product. Um, and so it, it, it needs to have this energy. Like if, if you're selling this product, you need to have that kind of energy. So the first thumbnail photo, it is very natural in this natural environment. It is not in a fake environment, which I absolutely love for this product because essentially people are buying it for a certain experience that they're going to have. They want to get a kind of laugh. They want to get a kind of a upbringing of the mood when they bring these koozies to, uh, to as gifts or, or they're going to gift it to somebody, right? So they want to have that feel uh, when they come to a listing. So make, really think about what is the feel that a customer is looking for. If you're selling wedding products, maybe they want some kind of subtlety. Maybe they want some kind of uh, elegance. Make sure that that's represented in your listing. So that's really, really big, okay? So the other thing is what I like about this. Now, you would think like, ah, oh, this is too Photoshoppy. This is too edity. No, this is actually explaining a lot. What happens in Etsy, and they move this around all the time, but the product description is all the way down here. But even then, I just opened that up oftentimes people have scrolled past product descriptions. They don't always look for it. It's right here. It's not that, it's really not that impressive. So what they did is they decided to make informational photos, photos that have uh, product descriptions and really visually describing the product instead of just doing it via text. By the way, side note, if you are going to be doing uh, a description, bullet points are one of the best ways to really uh, lay out what you're trying to you know, tell your customers. So yeah, through images and graphics, they really show you the description. They descri describe the product in images, which is great. And that's kind of what you want to do. And they do that here. They, um, with these photos, you create a very uh, um, customer, like even right here, look at this. They're not gonna tell you that in the description. You could write it here, but they're just making it even easier for you to see exactly where you need to type, which I absolutely love. Um, one other thing that I, I like about listings is shop your listing, not your shop. So they're not hinting at the idea that, hey, we have more on our Etsy shop. No, they're gonna give you everything you need right here. They're giving you all the colors right here, and you, you can, there's a lot of colors, right? If you want pink, you got pink, you, got, you want black, you want black. It's not like they're giving you three options and for the other colors go on the shop. No, they're giving it all to you right here. And that's how you want to set your listings. Don't, don't, want, don't desire them to come to your Etsy shop. Now, sure, it'd be great if they come to your Etsy shop if they're not happy with this listing, but you want this listing to be enough for them. That's how you convert. Everything has to be surrounding conversion. Etsy in their recent earnings again reiterated the importance of conversion rate. The more conversion rate you can get, you can drive, you can increase that sale velocity, the better it's going to be. So make sure that you make your listing so good that they're just going to they're just going to shop on that listing and that's it. They're not going to go anywhere else. The moment they click out of that listing, the chances of them buying your product 
de de decreases like exponentially. Um, and so, so you want them to make that transaction at your listing. So whatever you can offer them, whatever options you can offer them on the listing, that's going to be your best play. Um, okay, so the other, that, let's talk about title. So they're not just saying personalized, personalized uh, um, insulated coolers. And a lot of people make this mistakes Well, they'll just say personalized isolated coolers and they'll just say it in many different ways, right? The ways people type, for example, um, I would say a sleeve or something like the word sleeve, right? Foam sleeve, right? But instead what they did is they said, what is it for? The Etsy is all about gifting. Lately, it's been really pushing the gifting space. What is this cooler thing going to be gifted for? It's going to be gifted for families. It's going to be gifted for birthdays. They probably did some research. They found 40th birthdays probably really requested for a cooler specifically, 30th birthday, 50th birthday. They've probably done the research, and that's probably why they're getting these sales. Uh, and so, so think about not necessarily what are the different ways to say this, this uh, item, but what is the item for? So use the main, the main fundamental keywords that are most important for your product. Like the word personalized should be there, obviously. Can cooler should be in there, but, but what is it for? And then other ways, like the word sleeve, can be used in the tags, and that's what the tags are for. It's just different ways to say that product, okay? So that, this is really important. Um, write the title in such a way, what is the product for? And then when people go into gift mode, that is going to be in your favor if you organize your title in that to, to satisfy the gift mode um, format. Hopefully this is making sense to you guys. Um, so that's, the, that's huge. I want to make sure that I underline that. That is very, very huge, okay? Um, one thing I don't like about this is the, title, is the description is just too long. They probably uh, did some some chat GPT. Uh, every time I see a long description like this, it's probably chat GPT. Uh, but um, yeah, uh, the other thing what I like about this is bulk pricing. A lot of times people don't talk about um, selling a product at bulk. If you're selling products like this, uh, it could be a corporate gift, it could be, you know, wedding gifts, or you could be like, you know, wedding favors, party favors. There's so much opportunities to sell bulk that people don't think about. So, so I just wanted to make sure that you guys uh, take note of that, okay? Um, okay, let's go to the next listing. Um, Mom's Candles, right? So what this product is, is to give a, a style of warmth. Right, so when they took photos, they didn't take a photo on just the black, the white background. Um, they took some kind of a warm colors. They they really matching the warmth of it, and the photos represent that's what what you're seeking to, um, what you're seeking to do with this. So look at the look at the difference between this and this. This one beach people on the beach is really just even like little little spill on the side there. This is really just raw and people having a good time, right? And then this one, all of a sudden you feel cozy. So that's really important. I, I can't tell you how, how important this is. Um, and also, again, even the videos, they don't, have to, they don't have to go fast. Again, it's all about warmth. Make sure that your videos just sounds, feels relaxing in this case. Or in, that, in the other case, it needs to be fast. It needs to be popping, moving. So this is really important, right? Really think about what, what, what is your customer looking to do? So, and then here is, again, I like the fact this uh, uh, Mother's Day gift, funny gift for mom, uh, gift for mom. Well, see, you, you don't need to repeat too many keywords. I would say that's the only thing I would change. Mother's Day candle. So this is great because they're also targeting what is it gifted for. So that's really, really important. <clears throat> oh, okay, great, again, bulk. Really think about bulk. Really think about, hey, if you buy this at bulk, I'm going to reward you in, in this, in this way. When you do product research, and if you have several different products you're looking at, really think about which of these products can I sell at bulk. Uh, that's also really important. Uh, so if you're, if you're product researching, really think about that. Uh, like if, if I can have a shop full of items that, say 10 items that could be sold one unit at once, or you could sell something that like a bridal party would buy or, or a party favor could have, and then all of a sudden your quantity goes through the roof, or you're selling something at a high, higher profit margins. That all of a sudden is a game changer. Sorry, I kind of went off tangent. Yeah, okay, so I like this. Okay, so, all right, so the next thing I want to talk about is this description. Bullets is one of the greatest ways, but also when you title something, product details. Because the thing is, sometimes people don't care about 
a lot of stuff. They don't care about size. They don't care about this, whatever, but they do care about ingredients. So they go straight to the ingredients. They don't care about candle uh, care. They might just, just care about ingredients. So they can skip through all that, read what they need, and buy. Because description, that's all they, the, all description needs to be is I'm reading through it and I'm buying, okay? That's all they need. So if you can have the customer skip through the reading and just get to the thing that they want, that's going to improve conversion rate. So really think about that. They don't need to read through your whole. And so stop using ChatGPT where it's like candle, warm up your fuzzy day it's like writing an essay when you don't know what you're writing is just putting in words customers don't need that they're not going to read that uh, it's not improving your conversion rate we get straight to the points and titling something and organizing it is probably the best way to do it by the way if you're selling on amazon handmade if you've watched my content bullet points are absolutely critical that's what you need to care about don't worry about product description care about bullet points now, I really, I think what, what they could have done better is all of this when they're talking about the sage and lemon or whatever, they could have done that in, in picture format. They could easily have done that in picture format. So uh, that's, that's, that's one thing I would say about that. All right, so let's take a look at this listing and the same thing here. They're doing Mother's Day. They're doing what is the product for. I absolutely love that. Um, Oh, by the way, when you do, if you do personalization, really spend more, more time writing into the personalization because sometimes people are, they do get confused about how personalization works, especially when you have more than just one personalizations. Uh, when there is, you know, kind of several things you want to make sure that they just, just you want to describe how they need to format their personalizations. That's going to be very important. Okay. And the other thing is, again, they have informational photos um, that will talk about the product in the photo listing. So that's, that's really important. Again, I can't tell you how important just in the photos, you transfer all your description into the photos. That's just a simple little hack that you guys can use. Okay, so make sure all the description can be found in your photos. Um, again, shop your listing, not your shop. So they have all of these options you can get in there, um, in there, in the listing. Now, when I say shop your listing, not your shop, it doesn't mean you need to start introducing new, um, new photos or new graphics. Because you want a lot of times people have asked me like, okay, if let's say for example they're doing flowers, should I do other designs on here as well? No, because if they really like this design, they're kind of probably like more designs within that style. You don't want to all of a sudden introduce camo uh, to this, you know, camouflage or hunting. You want to just continue introducing more variations of this product. And you don't want to do too many variations as well. You don't want to overwhelm them. But what I'm what my point is that they can get the, the mug and they can customize which flower exactly or maybe which which font exactly it's just they're, they're, they're able to get what they need here but you don't want to give them too many options to where it's no longer relevant um I, I would say even font in this case wouldn't be relevant to change the font i think floral different flowers would be a, a good a good option to, to change out different flowers to, for each name but i wouldn't change like the font that would be too much but Give them everything that they need in the listing to make the product that, that they would love because if they fall in love with the product they just made, they're more likely to buy it. So that's, that's absolutely critical. So hopefully you guys found this video useful. If you have, give me a like. Uh, subscribe for more videos where I'll be reviewing other listings. I want to make more content like this. And if you guys want me to review your listings, make sure in the description, write down what your shop is and what you want me to review. I would love to do that. And again, if you guys want to sell on Etsy and you don't have equipment, I've actually did a 30 minutes a day where I made over $500 in sales per day after month one. And I show you guys exactly how I did that. Link is in the description. And until next time, you guys have a great one.